my name is Nate, and today we're going to be talking about college. Now, we all know college is extremely important for a variety of reasons that I'm not going to go into right now. Now, you want to go to a really good school, and in the United States, that means only one, one thing, and that means one place, and that's Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Now, in order to get into a place like MIT, you need not only great grades, and um, high work ethic, you also need a good amount of money. So today, we're going to be talking about how to save yourself some money. Headed out right now to a few different places. I'm doing a little bit of shopping. I am planning on picking up a big amount of Teddy peanut butter, which we all know is pretty much the best, the best that I've had so far. Crunchy, obviously, and uh, going to Target, you know, pick up some supplies. Might even pick up like a burger or something because I'm kind of hungry and it's the whole reason I'm going to the supermarket. I ain't got no food. We're in lovely Everett, Massachusetts, but I personally don't get up here like all the time, even though I live relatively close. Like, I'm not trying to make a special trip to Everett just for a 12 pack of peanut butter to save like about six bucks you know so when's the next time i'm going to everett hopefully fucking never girl why you never ready for as long as you took you better look like halle berry or beyonce now i just came out of uh five guys it's kind of like a scam so like if you just go in there and you say oh i want a burger you're actually getting a, a two patty double burger and the little burgers or what they call little burgers are pretty fucking big to begin with so that's the kind of thing that I label false advertising. I actually, I made that mistake once, and I just said, oh, give me a burger, and they gave me a two patty, like, double burger, and then when I got it, I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm hungry, whatever, I'll just eat it, and it would cost extra, but I ate it. Now that I got my food in me, I'm a little more relaxed, you know, kind of always chills you out, so you're not, not in such a rush anymore, but we do got to get over to the peanut butter factory, because... They're one of those weird businesses that closes at random times, so let's go. Looks like they're washing the windows, but boom, look right up there. Salted nuts. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have come in here. Now I'm trapped. Fuck. I'm gonna have to like go and talk to a person and get like some kind of card or something. Oh, sick! Thank fucking God. Thank the Lord. All right, so here I am at Target now, and uh, they got this weird new section. It's kind of like a grocery store. Chiquitas. Um, they got all kinds of potatoes, you know. onions, tomatoes. Tomato prices aren't the best. You're looking at like $2.99 or $3.99 for a thing. Or you got 74 cents for the hot house tomato. I don't know about those. Those don't look the greatest. I like them. I like them to have color, even though we all know they probably just inject that like red shit to make it look like it's got real color and it's just fake, but it says pure flavor on it, but look at that. See that down there? 12 ounces, $2.99. So basically, you're talking about like $4.50 a pound for those things. Even Shaw's can do better than that. Let's look around a bit. Everything's still a little pricey till you get over here. And now you're looking more about in the normal range, you know, but you gotta wonder when it's on clearance like that, you see these little clearance tags, you start to wonder what is going on with this little guy. Okay, so this is one section where you really separate the men from the boys. Frozen pizza. You can see there's the Newman 609, and then that will be the, oh no, that's for California Pizza, pizza Kitchen. Those are always pricey. That's probably a reasonable price, but for the Freshettas, $5.59. I'm not gonna say that's unacceptable, but it's still a great disappointment. $4.99 for Archer Farms. I'd rather come back over here and shell out whatever they're charging for Red Baron, 389. We know, 
we know what they're doing. Okay, so now we're getting to the most important part of our trip here, and that would be the peanut butter section. Maybe brand loyalty isn't what it was uh, made out to be. Check out the Skippy. Unfortunately, at the store, we ran out of batteries, so I wasn't really able to complete my explanation about the peanut butter. I ended up getting this. Yeah, I didn't really buy anything else that you guys didn't see, except for a tomato. I ended up going back and buying that 74 cent tomato, just because I need tomatoes. And um, that's pretty much the lesson for today. So if you guys have any questions about how to get into MIT, or any you know general questions about MIT, please feel free to comment, send me a message, um, reply with a video of your own, what have you. And it's been my pleasure to bring this to you, and there will be more to come.